Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party. And in this one, we're gonna be buying and reviewing the brand new vehicle, the Coquette D10. If you wanna see that, well, keep watching. And it goes without saying, but I will say it anyway. If you like the video and wanna support the channel, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. We're gonna be going in depth in this review, we're gonna be seeing what customization options we have, and we're gonna be seeing what kind of performance we can get out of the car. And here we are outside, it's almost done, but that's okay. As you can see, the car looks even better in person than it did in the photos. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm calling this one as a Chevrolet C8. I think there's no room for argument here, it just looks like a C8. Something that we want to see is what the interior looks like and how interactive the car is, and both of those questions are going to be answered in a couple of seconds. But first, let's hear the startup sound of the car. In my opinion, just beautiful. And this is what the interior looks like. It's nothing special, but it's nothing horrible either. And seeing how interactive the car is, I'm very happy to say that you can open both doors, the hood and the trunk, which is located on the front of the car. And with all that scientific research done, it's time to go to Los Santos Customs and see what we can customize on this bad boy. Oh, and of course, as we start making our way to Los Santos Customs, it's very important to know, is this an all-wheel drive car or, just like the original, a rear-wheel drive car? And I'm very happy to say that it's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car, just like the C8. As for my first impressions of the car, it feels very underpowered. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Let me explain what I mean. The car feels like it has a lot of power, it slides all around when you step on the gas, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Of course, keep in mind that this is the stock version of the car and we are gonna be upgrading it fully, so hopefully upgrading the car is gonna fix that. But I feel it is important to say, keeping in mind that it is a million and a half dollar car. That said, even if the ride is complete crap, I'd say it's almost worth it just because of the way it looks and sounds. I'm personally a big fan of the C8 and hopefully you are too if you're watching this video. But for those of you who aren't big fans of the C8, well, it's a two-wheel, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive sports car. Just like the D10 here. And as you can see, my driving hasn't gotten any better, but I'm still trying. Like the video for trying? And we are almost at Los Santos Customs, and it's almost time to upgrade the vehicle. Can't wait to see what customization options we have there, and hopefully we're gonna have something special here. And just as I was about to go into Los Santos Customs, I noticed how the line shined through the headlights. I don't think I've seen that before in a car. You know, I'm talking about that cool parallax effect. If you go a couple of seconds back, you'll see it. Of course, first of all, we need to repair any damage that we did coming over here. And secondly, the way I like to start these things is by upgrading all the performance options first. That way I don't forget anything. The only thing that I don't upgrade, and I do this for all my cars, is the armor because I find it pretty useless. But everything else, from brake to engine, transmission and turbo, we're gonna be upgrading. And with that done, it's time to see what customization options we have for this beauty. I really like the choices for front bumper, but I think I wanna keep things a little bit simpler. Sort of like that. Rear bumper is pretty much the same story and I want to keep things simple here as well, so we're gonna go with the second option. Again, I'm very happy to say that the exhaust options, in my opinion, are pretty cool. And I particularly like the one that I stopped on. Grill, honestly nothing special here, but we don't need anything special. We just need to slap some carbon on it and move on. If you watched my videos before, you know that I like a clean car look. But since this is a brand new car, I decided to show you guys what the liveries are. And as I was showing off the liveries, I really liked this one. So. I think in the first time of me playing the game, I decided to go with a livery instead of a base color. Of 
course with this library we gotta go with the black license plate as well. The roof is sort of a mixed bag for me. I'm very happy that you can actually remove the roof and have a convertible, but I'd be 10 times happier if we could do this as we were playing the game. Basically have a retractable roof. And I know what you're saying, the C8 has a removable roof just like this one, you need to manually put it on and remove it, but it's a game, I think the option to have a power roof would have been nice. Choosing a roof scoop, honestly, nothing special here, I appreciate that we have the option to put it on, but I could take it or leave it. The choices for skirts are a little bit scarce, honestly, again, take it or leave it. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I don't really like big, exaggerated spoilers. Well, that's pretty much the case still, but for this car, I really liked how the street wing looked. I know it's different strokes for different folks at all, but for me, this is the winner. Street wing. I don't really see the point in doing sun strips, it just makes the window look smaller and... I don't know, I genuinely don't see the point in this. For suspension, we're gonna lower the car just one level, cause if we lower it any further, it's just gonna look broken. I was thinking that I wanted to change the rims before I got the car, but seeing the rims in person, I really, really like them. So I'm gonna stick with the original rims for now. As always, I go with the first window tint option. And it's finally time to see what the car looks like in different colors. I honestly thought that I wanted to stay with the yellow since it looks so good. But after seeing a couple of colors, it's not the color, it's the car. And I'm sorry guys, if you like how the car looks, please leave a like on the video. And with that shameless plug done, we're gonna choose red color for the car. What do you think? It looks good, right? And also we're gonna choose orange pro scent, so it looks orangier. After going through all the color options for the rims, I really like how the yellow ones look. So I'm gonna see what I can do with the rest of the car to make a match. Oh, and what do we have here? Hmm, maybe if I do the interior in yellow, it's gonna match the rims that I have on. Come on guys, this looks just beautiful. And with that last modification, we're done to go on the street and see not only how the car handles, feels, sounds, but also how it looks in the moonlight. You gotta love those phone calls. But anyway, besides that, I think the car looks amazing. I understand that I'm a little bit biased, but come on guys. And with the first corner that I do, you'll see what the performance difference is. Yep, everything's fixed, just as I thought. I don't want to make this video too long, so in conclusion I'm gonna say this. If you upgrade a car to the maximum, it feels good, it feels very slidey, and very fun. It's not the fastest car, and it doesn't have the highest top speed, but it's so much fun, and it's so good to look at. And also, the sound the car makes doesn't hurt either. Tell me in the comment section, what do you think? Do you like the car? Do you disagree with me? I'd love to know. And with all that, thank you so much to everybody who watched the video. Hopefully you liked it, and if you did, you actually clicked the like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing. A lot more cool things to come in the future. And with all that, I'll see you in the next one. Apparently as the driver, not the car. <laughs>